Hi everybody, this is Anne. I was thinking about activities I enjoyed as a kid and remembered the joy of finger painting. I thought maybe there was a way to apply that to pottery and came up with three finger painting projects on clay that I'll demonstrate for this video. First I'll roll out a slab of clay, rib it on both sides, then put it aside so I can make the screen. For this experiment, I'll use an embroidery hoop, but if the embroidery hoop is not big enough, you can make your own sized frame out of materials like this construction foam board that you can get at any hardware store. You can see how you can securely tape the material down to the back. Instead of using a plain screen, I found this remnant material at the fabric shop that'll be fun to use. I just placed the bottom ring under the fabric where I wanted it, Then I placed the bigger hoop over top of it, screwing it down so the fabric was tight and flat. Next I used automotive detailing tape across the surface in a sort of woven pattern. The tape will mask white areas of the clay. Next I took a wide painter's tape and cut various shapes like leaves and birds. I cut them out with scissors, although you could use an X-Acto if you're more comfortable. I arranged them on top of the material so they stuck to the fabric. Once I got the screen just the way I wanted it, I turned it flat side down on the clay. Then with a roller, I flattened down the material to the clay surface. I couldn't quite get into the corners, so I used a small spatula to make sure the whole thing was flat to the surface. Now on to the finger painting. I'll use three primary colors, Amico Velvet Intense Yellow, Baby Blue, and Bright Red. I poured a little into the lids of each color, then with my finger, I started to spread it out working in circles and making sure the underglaze went all the way to the edges. Before the underglaze was completely dry, I removed the screen to get this effect. I love the added effect of the texture from the embroidery and the webbing from the material. I thought I'd make a bowl from this design, so I cut it out, put it on a piece of plastic wrap, and dropped it down into a styrofoam half sphere. I added a bottom to it, and here's how it came out. I'm very happy with that. The next project combines the material screen with a stencil. I also found this material in the fabric store. It already has these cool little doodads on it that'll make great masks. I positioned it over the clay and rolled it flat into the clay. I then took this cool stencil and positioned it so I could see the doodads through it. A 
Again, I rolled my brayer over the stencil so that it impressed into the clay surface. Then I did the same thing to finger paint with the underglazes. I just used my finger in swirling motions over top of the openings of the stencil. Some areas I mixed underglazes, and some areas I left the original color. I tried not to overwork the underglazes, or they would turn muddy. I removed the material and the stencil, and just love how I can still see the little doodads in the texture from the netting. When the underglaze dries, I can begin construction. Now here's what I did with this one. I just love those colors and I'm a sucker for the leaves. Finally, I'll show you a technique using wax paper. I tore off a brand new sheet of wax paper from the box I put the sheet flat on my surface with the wax side facing up. I began to use my finger to apply the underglaze, but soon realized that pouring it on was the easier way to do it. I then could use my finger to mix and play with it on the surface. It's cool how the wax resists and creates a neat pattern. You can let this dry on its own, but I used a heat gun to completely dry the underglaze to the surface. I then used a pair of scissors to cut the wax paper into strips. Some of the underglaze flaked off, but that's okay. I then took the strips and arranged them on the clay with the underglaze side down on the wet clay. When I was happy with that, I rolled the strips into the clay first with a rolling pin, and then with a brayer. I knew I was finished rolling when I saw that the underglaze was starting to rehydrate and transferring to the surface. I then peeled off all the wax paper. Yay! <laughs> I think I'll add a focal point to the design by putting a butterfly stencil to the surface and adding black underglaze. I pressed the stencil firmly to the clay so the underglaze wouldn't spread underneath the stencil. Now here's the finished design. I love that. And here's what I made with it.
And if you get into a pottery rut, think back to activities you did as a kid and experiment like I did. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you next time in the studio. Freddy, what is this for?